All right, I just want to quickly talk about this Greg Doyle situation. The thing is, he's apologized. He said, hey, I'm part of the problem. I will not be part of the problem next time. I will do better. Something along those lines. My question to Greg, how? How are you going to be better? And I would love for the internet to do its thing and get this in his inbox, share it with him, whatever. And if he happens to take this seriously, wonderful. But my question to you, Greg, is how? I feel like men have gotten really good at just saying, hey, you know what, I'm going to say the bare minimum to get myself out of a sticky situation, but actually, in actuality, I'm not going to do any of the back-end work that will improve myself as a person and help me not say such overtly gross things in the future. You have the privilege of covering these amazing athletes. You owe it to them and you owe it to your readers. Hell, you owe it to yourself to try and understand how this happened. How are you going to stop yourself from easily saying something, something offensive next time? How? My assumption is when we say things like that so comfortably, those are the symptoms of an underlying thought as a subconscious narrative that we have about what we're making comments about. It's the subconscious narrative. It is the underlying thought that the words came from. That's the problem. How are you going to fix that? You know what would be a great column? is you doing a weekly column, a monthly column, whatever, on figuring out how you're going to actually get better at covering these athletes that deserve better coverage. I started this account because I want men to be better. I, don't, I actually think we can do it. I want men to do more. Small, consistent improvements day after day, that works. I actually, like I've been on this journey for a little while. I find myself in the happiest position I ever been, I've ever been in. And I think a lot of that comes to from trying to make a more equal world, to try and look at the women in my life and figure out why I might harbor some sort of underlying resentment towards them and then work on that. It's not their job to deal with my outbursts, to deal with creepy sayings. It's not their job to deal with me. I've got to deal with me. I would like to see how Greg is going to change this. Part of the reason why I made this account is so I can get in touch with more men who want to be better. 